are you producing? What are you producing? Because if it's not food and something that you can sell in this market that we still have left, <laughs> you might want to think about where you're at. Because working for somebody is only going to make you and keep you, well, let's just be honest, a slave. Because you're not collecting the check at the end of the day. Or the money's not hitting your accounts directly. It's, uh, you know, going to the boss. So the idea is to be the boss. And it's a really simple thing, and you don't got to let your ego even get in the way. You can just create. You can be a creator in the sense that you're just producing things. So the best things to produce are things that come in abundance from nature freely. And, you know, the least amount of effort, really. I mean, a lot of people like to produce crafts and goods that take a lot of effort. And they sell those. And they make a living and profit off those. But... You can go ahead and use Mother Nature's seeds and grow food. Now, this is just my indoor grow room where I'm growing my food for the winter. What it comes down to here is we're going to have to either be our own producers at home and, you know, where we don't have to leave for inputs, we can produce them ourselves. So what's going to happen is the world's closing in around us with the laws and the medical police state basically that's here uh we i i personally don't want to be inoculated and i don't want to have to have to be medically raped to get food so i just gonna go ahead and grow it myself and uh you know it's it's just there's a lot of things going on with all that it's poisonous it's altering everything you are and I am uh, completely the opposite that 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 way. I am um, here for lush, lavish, flourishing, expanding, ever-growing, living, vibrant life. That's what I'm here for. And the, what they're doing now with the world is turning it into the complete opposite. And it's been going on for a while, as I'm sure a lot of people know. It's been an agenda to demoralize the uh, the roots of our country for a long time, which I am not letting that affect my roots. So we're going to go ahead and go on to this room here. I just want to go ahead and show you here. You've probably seen maybe in my, some of my other videos, maybe not. But these are my potatoes, and that's growing strong. So I have bugs. I also breed my business, roachingaround.com. It's a bug business where I breed roaches and isopods, and that's how I do my sales. And it's growing things. It's growing bugs and breed, letting them breed and feeding them with the scraps that come from the gardens. Um, so it's all this just regenerative cycle of, of life here. There's a cycles. Everything has cycles, right? Like life itself, all the, the, the moon and the stars and, and the earth changes. Everything has cycles, and we all go through it. And I am adapting and adjusting to, you know, with this cycle here and my cycle of life. And everything is set up in a way that I can, I can just pick up and go. If I ever had to leave, it's like an extension of me that I can bring back in and take all with me. So if there's ever really an emergency and I had to leave, I can take all the good essentials, all the equipment, everything that's needed for to operate you know maybe you don't you, you can't take all the living capital all the plants with you at the time but you can take your seeds and then you just reset your operation wherever it is you go if you have to do it that way so you might want to think about you know how you're set up because it's all about having an operation and things going on in every room that you have available to grow basically to grow and having you know your preps all in order so like winter's getting here it's pretty much here it's all cold out there now but this is my water station and that basically gives me all my water my clean water for everything that i eat everything that i drink i wash and rinse all the food 
you know, and, and uh, make sure that it's rinsed of the tap water because tap water is not as clean. These filters get everything gravity fed, gravity purified. And yeah, so it comes down to having your operation set up. And that's one of the big things I wanted to cover as I go downstairs here. And go into this room to show you this. This is my, uh, one of my bug rooms in another room that I have downstairs in my basement. Yeah, so there's growing, growing going on in there. So I walk in here into another room. This is technically my lair where I have another water filter here that I tap into when I need to uh, get some water at night. Water whenever I'm down here. Uh, another room here. This is another little grow room here that I have off right now. I have a couple lights in there. I might move upstairs and get those things uh, pumping with all of this here. These are my bugs and a crop from this year that I harvested. So it's all business. So I do an online website and, uh, well, I used to do eBay until I ran into issues with them because eBay is just freaking annoying like that. So there's all of this and these here is more bugs. And I have another little grow station here where I uh, do starts seedlings in the uh, I did a lot of that there's, so there's a light there but now I'm doing them up in the grow rooms I didn't have that grow room before so I was down here with the seeds where they were real close this is my chickens up in here so it's all food and there's a system to this you know a cycle to this they give me fertilizer that I put into the garden and in turn creates healthier food that I bring out here or back here to them to keep me alive and vibrant and that's how that stays so you know they get fed I go in there probably every day <laughs> to give them new water freshen up their food and collect eggs and I'm always doing something with with something you know canning or dehydrating I'm still gonna do here I haven't done yet where, where is it right there that's the dehydrator that's my AC unit but yeah, that's my more bugs here that I just moved. My red runners. I got my golden dubias in there. Someone just placed a heavy order. Rubber ducky isopods, panda king isopods. Man, those are the ones that are worth quite a bit. You can sell seven of them for like a hundred bucks easily. Um, so that's why it all comes down to growing your own everything and having your own operation so it's farming everything is farming it's not dirty or disgusting or filthy I mean there's a lot of dirt involved but you don't have to be filthy see that's the difference in in the discernment and, and knowing the difference in having that higher level of thinking the higher IQ ex expanded enlightened consciousness you understand everything has life to it and these bugs, they're, they're all, everything's alive and it's producing something. And with its life, will it has no choice but to grow into, uh, you know, wealth. That's what, the, that's what grow, that's what the beauty of farming is like once, all you got to do is be like the middleman and plant the seeds and manage it. Manage the, the, the watering and the farming of it. And, and then life itself, the universe's energy from the sun and from God enlightens all of it and puts life into it all and then you go ahead and you you flourish from it you you prosper and you do great and with that all happening in a cycle and you have this whole fulfilled cycle of life you don't have time to be complacent or upset or depressed or thinking negatively the, a thought might strike you something negative but then it got it's got to go away because you don't have time and it's not part of your cycle so like everybody has those times or there's little things or whatever but it doesn't have to be a big deal and when you're healthy from eating organically and not poisoning yourself anymore ever change completely the whole cycle your whole system then you you really really become enlightened and healthy in the body and mind so you don't even have depression or 
sad thoughts or anxiety or schizophrenia or any of that weird shit because you, your mind is clean and focused on the cycles at hand and focus on the cycles coming the cycles well the cycle we're in what's coming and that's a big big part of it part of it all here is just being ready and not having to have these systems outside inputs from Kroger or Home Depot but to create it all myself and then with the creation I can create revenue and with that revenue I can be very smart resourceful and conservative and place my money exactly where I need to to further expand into being self-sustainable so hope that helps some people figure out about you know what we got to get done here so until my next video get to growing stuff